everyone's and everyone's. Um, I'm on the road again. I really can't wait to get on the road, for real, for real. I love traveling. I absolutely love it. It is like my therapy. Um, and today I decided to get out and just go for a little drive. At first I was taking care of business and um, I went to go pick up some things for my business. And then I just felt the pull of the Lord tell me to go further and um, I didn't want to go further because it seemed like it wasn't essential but I am one to heed the voice of the Lord and so now I'm going to the area where he wanted me to go and um, just picking up something that is not essential but it's essential to my mental state which is amazing um, I'm going to pick up a fish to clean my tank. Those of you that know about this particular kind of fish, it used to scare me back in the day. I always thought that they were like monsters because they get really huge. And it's a placostomus, I think that's what it's called. Placo, pico, whatever. But they clean your tank really good. And um, those of you that have been following me for quite some time or know me know that I love, 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 love um, fish tanks. And I've gotten, I started off small, then I've gotten bigger. And so the biggest one that I have right now is a 55 gallon. And I would like to go bigger to the point where when I buy a house, I would like to have one installed in the wall. So. Uh, for some reason, today, it's like the Lord wants me to go to the fish place. And it's clear across the United States. <laughs> really, is not. But it is a, a pretty long drive compared to the proximity. Um, but I just kept feeling this pull. And um, the thought is to go to this one spot um, where I get my tires um, and I ended up going on YouTube and then I was like, let me, that's an easy fix. Probably have to go to the dealer. Um, but yeah, I just, I was sitting out in my car and I just felt this pull by the Lord to go. And so I wanted to come on here just really quickly and just do a car chronicle situation type thing. And, um, I, I have a, a, a lot of stuff on my mind, a lot of good things um, on my mind today. Um, this is a mask that my mom got me. It's one of, of a few. I'm not used to it. Um, I'm really not used to it because I'm used to wearing my scarf and wrapping it around my whole head and mouth and only have my beautiful eyes coming out <laughs> but this this is easy i just flip it down and pull it right back up and so you know thought i'll sport it on today star spangled banner type situation but um it, it is it was some things on my mind on today um nothing bad just a lot of good good vibes good good feelings good things in my heart um i'm really upbeat in my spirit um because i'm reminded of my favorite scripture jeremiah i'm sorry these, these look i've been in this town look i'm not trying to talk about nobody's town but i've been in this town for a little like no, not even a year. Not even a year. Um, less than a year. And... Wait a minute. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how long I've been in this town. Maybe it has been over a year. I don't know. I can't even think. 
But the road construction has been going on since I've been here. Well, matter of fact, before I got here because, yeah. Anyways, it is a year. I've been here a year, a little over a year and a half. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, look, I'm all over the place. But this road construction and these dips in the road, all of our tax dollars, it definitely ain't going for road construction. I mean, they, they, they widening up the lanes and stuff like that. But these little potholes and divots, they, let me shut up. That ain't why I came on here. I was supposed to be uplifting y'all and encouraging y'all and just telling y'all how good the Lord has been to me. No, I'm just playing. Um, I can't. I I say I don't sing. I can't sing. But you know, to each his own. Let me fix my little hand-free device. It's on my dashboard here. But um, anyways, I'm just really. I see the hand of God on everything. I really see him moving. I really see things like in my spiritual eye, I see it just coming to pass. And I see that the blessings of the Lord maketh rich and addeth no sorrow. And I'm in my due season. I realize that. And um, I know for a lot of you guys, it may seem like hell just opened up and swallowed you and it's about to take you under. But I promise you, if you just be patient, stay the course, stay focused, see God's face, and go back to the prayer, fasting, reading the word, you know, sometimes people, I'm going I'm to tell off on myself. Sometimes I'm like, I'm looking for the word, like a specific word. Like I'm looking for like the word that will blow your mind prophetically and all God is saying spend more time with you spend more time with me or he may say um fast and pray like worship me sing songs to me praise me and that may be all he's saying but you're looking for you know, I want all this money to fall into my lap and, and he's going to open up the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that you won't have no room enough to receive and you're going to get that husband and you're going to get that wife and that house that you've been looking for. Guess what? It's yours. It's yours with no money down. We looking for all of that and God ain't saying none of that other than if you seek me, you will find me and I will reveal the uh, I will reveal the secrets to you. And you have no idea that the secrets he may reveal to you is going to unlock everything that you waiting for the man or woman of God to reveal or tell you what thus saith the Lord. Mm. And God is saying, worship me. Well, I worship. No, worship me some more. One more again. He's telling you some easy stuff. That's easy. But for us, it's so hard because we like, God, I need more. Nope. Do what I told you from the jump, and I'll give you more. That's what God is saying. Do what I told you from the jump, and I'll give you more. Maybe I'm talking to myself, and y'all just eavesdropping. Or maybe this is for somebody else. 
But while you waiting for the word, spend more time with the Father. There's more in store for you. I promise you. And I've gotten to the point to where I can't wait to go to sleep. Because he deals with me in dreams and visions. A lot, a lot, a lot. And there's times where I can't wait to put on my worship music and just stand in the middle of my living room because for some reason that's what I've been doing here lately, just standing in the middle of my living room. I'm getting kind of emotional. I can feel it. But that's what I've been doing here lately, like literally standing in the middle of my living room just with my hands lifted up, just, just worshiping God. And this one time, not too long ago, where all of a sudden, it was like tiredness just overwhelmed me. And I felt the Lord just saying, lay before me. And in my living room, I literally put a blanket on the floor and laid down. And I just was at his presence. I, you know... I was just obedient and I just laid before him. And so it's the little simple things that God is telling us to do that we make it so hard to do. Do what he told you from the jump and you'll be blessed. Amen. Love you guys. I will talk with you all later.